Hey guys, welcome to Crystal Lenora, where we are all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And in this video, I actually am so excited to share with you how I actually got these fluffy curls on my natural hair. So I want you guys to try to guess and see what tool I actually use to get these curls, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. I am so excited. Hey guys, I'm happy to have you here. So I just washed my hair, I deep conditioned, and now I'm gonna be applying my leave-in conditioner. I actually decided to leave the plastic cap on my hair to cover certain sections so that it will stay moisturized and wet until I get to it. I just rinsed the deep conditioner out. So you will see that my hair in this clip is soaking wet. Yes, and that's what you want to apply your leave-in conditioner on soaking wet hair. So I'm gonna show you how I go ahead and apply this to all sections and then I'm gonna get to styling. So the previous style was finger coils and when you do finger coils at times depending on how you take them out you may have a lot of tangles hence my face while I'm detangling okay but um, I am going to detangle thoroughly with the leave-in conditioner so that I can make sure that my hair has no knots and no tangles. So I pulled out my rollers and rods. I actually keep them inside of a um, zip up pouch or bag that you usually receive like sheet sets in. And here I actually am trying to decide between rollers or rods. I have my smooth rollers and then I have my rods. Hmm, which one should I choose? <laughs> Comment down below, let me know what Let's you think. Try it. Let's see. Let's see what we got going Rock. on here. So you guys will see that I begin to section my hair. I'm not really good at parting, so I don't really part um, really well with the comb. So I use my hands because it's my best tool. I'm detangling here. And since my hair is still soft and wet, I'm using the Jumbo Ends Wrap. Now, you may have noticed people using these for roller sets or for rod sets when your hair was relaxed maybe. But I still keep them on hand because if my hands are really, really wet, it creates a barrier so that I could wrap the roller around there. So as you can see, that one kind of comes off. Um, it doesn't look very good. So I will redo it a little bit later in the video. But what I'm going to do is just wrap it around and use that um, end paper as my base to start my rolling so that my um, hair, even though it's soft and wet, can be taut on the roller. Because my hands are wet, my hair is wet, girl, it's a hot wet mess. So that's why I've decided to go ahead and use those pen papers. 
So if you have these type of things in your arsenal, use them. So we have fast forwarded to the top of my hair, the front, so that you can get a better look at the technique. You probably saw it in the other one, but I'm putting the product all the way to the root. I am detangling. I have my end paper there, and I have my roller. I'm wrapping, 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 making sure it's taut, and putting the cap on. So I have it sped up because your girl got a lot of hair, and Nobody trying to watch no 30 minute video, girl. So wrap, wrap, wrap. And I think you guys can see really well the technique. I'm using my fingers to part, I'm detangling, I'm putting the product on the actual strand and I'm brushing it through with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. And I'm wrapping, wrapping, wrapping around the smooth rollers. I'm pulling it taut and then I'm putting the cap on. I love the smooth rollers. And of course my parts don't have to be perfect because I'm using my fingers. I always have a jam session, you guys. You guys see, the rollers are all in. It looks really, really good. I'm excited. Feeling myself, doing a little dance. Yes. Anybody else jam out while they are doing their hair? So we're gonna speed forward, fast forward to the next day. As you can see, my shirt is different. I actually slept in these rollers. I would not advise doing that. It was a lot. I did sit under the dryer for about 45 minutes and then I just left them in and went to bed. So this is what we have the next day and you will see that my hair still is not dry. Why? Please somebody tell me why. But it is not dry all the way. But you can see that the end paper, it just comes right on off. Everything is smooth and I am loving the way this product has my hair so shiny and bouncy. I'm liking it. Look at that. I'm like, okay, okay, all right, okay. Go ahead, Robin. She did her thing with that product. So here we are, fast forward to the last two. I did actually part my hair so that I would have a side part, but in this clip, you're not gonna be able to see it. I am just taking the rollers out and you can see the end papers just slide right on out. Um, I am gonna do a turnaround for you guys so that you can see how it looks. And, and it is here that I noticed that some of my roots are a little puffy right there in the top. So I didn't get it as clean as I would like. 
maybe I could have used a better tool or I could have gotten closer to my roots. But I'm not worried about it because I am going to stretch it and make it work for me. And so I have my satin scrunchie. I'm going to actually put all of the curls in a satin scrunchie in a ponytail. And you guys, this is going to stretch it just a little bit. And it's going to keep it out of the way so that I won't disturb the curls until I'm ready. I don't do anything but keep it in this style for a while. So I'm going to take a look at everything and I'll be back. So you guys, this is actually about um, a day or two later. I actually am using a blow dryer and a wide tooth comb and I am softening up the edges just a little bit at the root just so that I can get rid of the product buildup. It was a little hard or rough there, but then also the heat is going to loosen those curls just a little bit around the edges so that I can have it mold to my desired look. You can actually see the part a little bit better because I have it defined. And now I am just pulling the hairs in the direction that I want them to go. This is going to get a little bit of frizz, but it's okay, girl. We natural. I also want to let you guys know that I did do a little bit of eyeshadow, but it's not like a full beat or look or anything. It's just me priming my eyes for a full look. So now I'm actually doing my edge control. You guys, I am horrible at doing edges. Like, I'm not good at doing edges at all. I am very fortunate that my edges kind of do its own thing. And I have natural baby hairs that just kind of stand out. And now I'm just going to pin up the side a little bit. And I'm deciding kind of how I want it to go. How I want this hair to fall. I'm just... I am intently working you guys and now I'm separating some of the curls just to give me a little more volume and look at those curls aren't they so cute I am loving them so yes I'm just separating I don't like to separate too too much because I want my style to last you'll see in the back I'm going to move some strands around to give it a fuller look and I'm feeling it I am really feeling it you guys I'm feeling myself. So I'm all over the place, but here I go. Here I go. Here I go. So you guys, as you saw in the video, I actually used a roller set. And I actually used the smooth rollers. They don't have any mix or prongs in them. And I just love them. They turned out so, so good and so fluffy. As you can see, the curls were a little bit tighter once I showed the clip before. I actually recorded this video over quite a few days because when I set my hair, um, if I'm not going anywhere, I usually just wear the bonnet, put it up in some um, a high ponytail or some pigtails with my satin scrunchies, which are life. And that's it. That's all I pretty much do. So in this video, you actually saw me with the bonnet. You saw how the curls looked as soon as I unraveled them. They had a lot of body and bounce. The products that I used worked very, very well. And actually, I had a photo shoot today. So before I filmed this intro and outro, the front of my hair actually got a little winded with the humidity. It was hot. It was, it was a lot going on. So I actually had to bump the front with my curling iron which I definitely don't recommend because the curls don't look the same. But you can see that these curls in the back are actually the curls from the roller set. And I probably am going to reset the front with the rollers. I probably am going to reset the front with the rollers just so that I can make sure that I get a great look. 
um, all the way around, but I may not just depending on me not going anywhere. So this is what we got. Plus the texture in the front of my hair is a lot looser, 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 looser. So it just takes a while for the curl to actually stay, but I'll probably go ahead and wash this so that I can move on to the next style. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. And make sure that you go ahead and like this video. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.